So in order to use CLI and SDK, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of work beforehand and enable programmatic access for the user where we want to be able to use these development tools, okay? And so when you turn on programmatic access for user, you're going to then get an access key and a secret so then you can utilize these services. And so down below, you can see I have an access key and secret generated. Now, once you have these, you're going to want to store them somewhere. And you're going to want to store them in your uh, user's home directory. Um, and you're going to want them within a, uh, a hidden directory called .aws and in a file called credentials. Okay, so down below here, I have an example of a credentials file. And you'll see that we have default credentials. So if we were to use CLI or SDK, it's going to use those ones by default if we don't specify any. But if we are working with multiple AWS accounts, we're going to end up with multiple credentials. And so you can organize them into something called profiles here. And so I have one here for Enterprise D and DSpace 9. So now that we understand programmatic access, um, let's move on to learning about CLI.